Hey everybody, this is Matt here again with Shaving the Day, and today I'm doing a shave um, in honor of 20 months together with my fiance Ashley. So I'm going to be using some products that uh, kind of relate to her um, or things that she likes, and um, I'll just kind of be talking about the 20 months that we've been together and our relationship and <clears throat> just things that I love about her and I uh, just wanted to do a shave today uh, to honor her and uh, we're going out tonight um, for sushi and probably a movie which are two of her favorite things so it should be a really good day. Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to be using. First the razor I'm going to be using is the Rockwell 6S. Um, this isn't anything that I chose because of her. I don't really have um, I mean, any of my razors would have been fine, but I just wanted to use this one on the R4 plate, uh, if you can see that, because, um, I've just heard a lot of good things about it, and I used the R2 last time, and uh, I just wanted something a little more efficient, so, um, I did shave yesterday, I normally don't shave twice in a row, or two days in a row, but, um, uh, just wanted to today to be clean shaven for when we go out. Um, I do still have some irritation in some areas from the kind of rough shave I had yesterday, so I'm going to try to be a little careful, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, her favorite color is black, so I'm using this black apothecary mug. Um, I haven't used it too much because I do have a soap melted down in it. Um, it is Colonel Cox Amber, <clears throat> excuse me, Amber shaving soap, which is glycerin based. So I melted it down in the mug and it's still there. Um, very, very light scent, but it is pleasant. Um, and it's definitely, Colonel Conks is definitely not the easiest to lather. And it doesn't make the best lather, but I am pretty proud of how I've got this in here. Um, I'm using this turtle ship brush because it does have some black on it, even though you can see that it's covered with lather right now. Um, be using the tube 2.0 which is also black and then for aftershave I'll be using sharp dressed man because um, she has told me several times that she really likes this scent and uh, it's one of my favorites as well so I thought that would be fitting so I'm gonna wet my face real quick and I'll start applying this tube while I talk to you guys about some other things all right let's start putting the tube on here definitely want to use a good pre-shave today to try and avoid any irritation that I may get or kind of aggravating some areas where I got nicked yesterday. So much menthol in this, it's like, and this isn't even the ice tube, which I can't even imagine how much menthol is in that because this is more than what I normally would like, but it's always a good pre-shave. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, the blade that I'm using is a uh, Treat Carbon Black Beauty, um, which I chose because it's also black colored and it is one of my favorite blades anyway. All right, I've got a good layer of pre-shave on there. I'm gonna start lathering up while I keep talking to you guys. So yeah, I wanted to choose some items that I felt like encompass kind of her preferences or interests. Um, it was a little difficult to do so just with what I have right now. You know, she hasn't like picked out any soaps for me or anything like that. Like. So she hasn't said like, oh, you should buy this one. Um, we haven't like gone to any stores together or anything like that um, where she would have been able to do that. But I did choose things that I thought were fitting. Um, so another thing I thought I could talk about was some of my favorite memories with her so far. Um, I mean, we've been together for 20 months, which may not seem like that long but we were friends for a long time before that and um 
it feels like we've known each other for our whole lives basically so um we do have tons of memories and uh some of my favorite ones include like we've had so many late nights just like talking about anything and everything laughing staying up really late just like especially when we first started dating getting to know each other um and those were some of the best like nights i've ever had um she's just a joy to be around and to know and understand and um, her personality is just really like inviting and uplifting um we've also traveled quite a bit together um her and i and then also um uh, some of her family too we've been on some really great trips uh to like we recently went to st louis and we've been to costa rica and um florida and a few other places and uh we both love traveling so that's been really enjoyable uh she also has a very kind of silly goofy personality so just kind of singing in the car and making goofy voices uh just you know little things like that is always a great time with her uh playing tons of games with her and her family um, and just kind of like the simple things like cooking and listening to vinyl at the same time, hanging out, quality time together, just doing uh, simple things and, you know, little day trips and uh, things like that. Um, I just love hanging out with her and I spend, you know, like 99% of my time with her and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to get started with the shave here though, guys, while I keep talking. Um... So yeah, like I said, I have this on the R4 plate. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, I also wrote down some of her favorite things that she likes. Um, and this list is definitely not all encompassing, but here's just some things that came to mind. Um, number one would be her being goofy and joking around, um, she's just so funny and uh, her personality is just kind of like very goofy and silly and she doesn't take herself too seriously at all, um, which I really appreciate and she's just always a good time, always has some good jokes and one-liners and funny things that she says um, and she loves to not take herself too seriously. Um, she also loves animated movies, and we may go see, uh, Minions, The Rise of Gru tonight, so she's, uh, been wanting to see that. Um, we just watched Sing 2 recently, um, and we watched it actually twice, uh, within a few days because we liked it that much. Um, she loves animated movies. Uh, she also loves flowers, like fresh flowers, um, so... I try and, when I think of it, I try and go to the store, grab some nice looking flowers, put them in a vase uh, on our kitchen table. And uh, that's something that she always likes to have. It, it looks nice in the house and she loves that. Uh, this is this is going really well so far with this razor. Um, the R4 plate definitely feels more efficient than the R2, so I'm happy with it. Um, she also loves Asian cuisine. I mean, she loves a lot of different types of food, but Asian cuisine is probably her favorite. Um, so we're getting sushi tonight. And, uh, she loves, like, Thai food, anything oriental. Um, and we're both really adventurous eaters and willing to try anything, which is another thing that I love because neither of us is picky, so we're willing to, you know, really try new things. Um, and like I mentioned, she loves traveling. Um, we have dreams to, you know, travel with each other as much as we can. And she's already seen so many countries. She studied abroad twice, um, in Italy and in Japan. And while she was in Italy, she went to a bunch of different countries. Um, and I'm very jealous and I hope to be able to go to all of those also with her. 
Um, <laughs> need to put some more lather right here. I'm actually kind of impressed with how I lathered this uh, Colonel Cox. Normally I don't get it as protective as this. And I can see that my neck is still irritated from yesterday, but I'm gonna have to roll with it. Um, some things that I love about her are that I can always be myself around her. Um, and she can be herself around me too. Uh, we both can, can be a little weird sometimes and goofy and do some funny things. Um, but I know that I can always be myself around here and don't have to ever worry about that. Which is, you know, something that anyone would hope they have with their partner. Uh, she definitely brings out my goofy side, um, cause I have a tendency to be more serious, much more serious than she does. Um, but she does help me try not to take myself too seriously and be goofy sometimes. Uh, she also makes me want to work on myself and be better every day. She makes me want to be a better man, a better partner, a better uh, person. Um, and I love that because, you know, there's always room for improvement and uh, we can always be better at, you know, how we interact with people and um, how we interact with people we care the most about. Um, so I'm always wanting to improve and, you know, learn the ways that I can, you know, love her and, uh, take care of her better. Um, she's also a really good encourager and she, you know, will put a positive spin on things when I can't see past the negative, which I appreciate. And she's also very very thoughtful and generous she's super funny and she's extremely hard working um in everything that she does especially her job and she's starting to get recognition for that because everyone can tell how much effort she puts into what she does and she's definitely a bit of a perfectionist sometimes in a good way um, even with just like making sure the house is always neat and tidy. So that's good. But yeah, those are just a few things. Um, you know, I could list so many more, but kind of hard to shave and think about, um, other stuff sometimes. This does definitely does not have good, uh, post or not, not post good, uh, residual slickness at all. It's kind of sticky almost. Like, you feel my hand getting stuck when I press on it, but it was a good first pass, so I'm going to rinse off and then I'll relather. All right, I'm going to relather here. Um, very excited to get sushi tonight and probably go to a movie. Um, you know, I know this isn't like a, a year anniversary. It's, it's uh, 20 months together, but on the 13th of every month, which is the day we started dating, um, November 13th of 2020. Um, we try to do something on the 13th of every month, even if it's something small. And if you like sushi, then uh, let me know what your favorite kinds are. Um, I love it, but I haven't really tried a ton of different kinds. But I'm always interested in trying different varieties and different foods. Yeah, this is actually a pretty nice lather. And I will try and comment more on the Rockwell success as I'm doing this pass too. Uh, last time I used it, I used a Gillette 7 o'clock black, which is probably my favorite blade. Uh, but I only have one left. So 
so I didn't want to use it today. Um, and then also I wanted to use a black blade, which this blade is actually black colored, if you've seen it. It's very cool looking, so I thought that would be fitting. I do like this R4 plate better, and it feels super smooth, this razor. Um, you can tell just the build and the craftsmanship on it is, you know, what allows it to excel and perform in such a good way. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a razor I'm looking forward to experimenting with more and using different blade combinations and I'm not going to, you know, try and judge it based on this shave really because I normally don't shave every day anyway. And uh, I'm not using like an amazing quality soap or anything. Um, and I do have some irritation anyway, so I'm just going to try and enjoy the shave. Sorry with my camera angle in my latest, not, not latest, my last video was a little off. Felt like I was standing too close to the, the mirror and you can really see me super well sometimes. I have a pimple right here that I think I just nicked. Hopefully it doesn't bleed. Oh, it is, I can see it. Right there. Felt it right away. I just realized I did not shave across the grain on my chin, so I'm going to have to redo that. Well, that's actually bleeding a lot. Right, let me throw some more lather on here. Um, been trying to think of more like inexpensive date ideas lately too. So if you guys have anything that you do regularly, um, that's inexpensive for a date or something that you just have in mind that you think I would enjoy or that we would, uh, enjoy together, please let me know because I'm open to definitely hearing those things. We're going to do one last pass here and wow, that pimple is really bleeding a lot is annoying. Hopefully my neck's not too irritated after this. Really, really like this brush. It lathers very nicely. Very easily. Even with a hard to lather soap like Colonel Conk. Alright, let's do a quick last pass here. Definitely have to take a day off from shaving tomorrow. Oh, 
I took a tip from uh, Elemental Hero Joe. He's been putting sticky notes on the mirror to help him remember what he means to talk about it or just keep talking. And I did that for this video a little bit, just a couple sticky notes. Um, I think I'm going to do that more in the future because it does help. So I apologize if there's moments where I'm being a little quiet or thinking about what I'm going to say next. I will try and be more talkative throughout the video and I have so many pauses. very smooth. Um, I really was trying to not be too aggressive and, you know, take my time and just be careful. And, it, you know, there's still some irritation and nicks and stuff from yesterday that I probably reopened, but it's actually quite smooth shave. I wouldn't say this is the ideal blade for this razor, at least for, for this situation right now. But it's not doing a bad job by any means. I prefer these blades, the Black Beauties, in adjustable razors more. Sometimes with this razor, it really feels like there's not even a blade in it. I really like that. All right, I'm going to rinse off, do the post-shave routine. I'll come back with the splash. All right, guys, I am back with the splash. And this is why I normally do not shave every day, especially if I have previous irritation from the shave before. Um, that alum block did not feel good, let me tell you that. But... I applied the Nivea Sensitive Balm pretty heavily, and that usually helps a lot with the irritation, so I'm sure it'll be fine in a little while. Um, but this little nick right here, this pimple that I started, um, well, I, it's actually better now, but it really was refusing to quit bleeding, so I do have this Parasso Styptic Gel, just in case. But I'm going to put on some of this Sharp Trust Band Splash, and probably feel the burn. Mm. Oh. Yeah, all this whole area right here. Huge amount of burn. Wow. I gotta put on just a little more. Man, does that smell good, though. I love, love, love Sharp Dressed Man. Green Irish Tweed. Oh, uh, yep, and you can see this is starting to bleed again, so I am going to put some of this on in a minute. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of uh, kind of more details into uh, my life. And uh, just wanted to, like I said honor my fiance Ashley and us being together for 20 months uh, with this shave so um, hopefully she finds it fitting as well um, but just yeah looking forward to tonight and celebrating 20 months with her um, I hope you're all doing well and um, that you're spending quality time with your loved ones as well uh, that's more important now than ever so I uh, wish you guys the best and I'll catch you in the next video